Ryan BMS. Okay, so what are we doing here? Okay, so um, we're thinking we get a couple of weak cells, all right? Because the, every time I drive the truck, uh, once I give it any sort of uh, juice, yep, uh, it kicks below that 2.6. Exactly. Volts. The Ryan BMS uh, is something is happening there, but it's limiting the current to uh, 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 to my um, discharge. Uh, it's limiting the discharge current significantly enough that it's cutting the contactor for the controller off. Basically it's saving the pack is exactly. the idea, right? It just totally kills it. Says the pack. that there's one bad cell, draws below 2.6 volts, yeah. so I'm going to cut off the whole system, mm -hmm. protecting the whole pack. Yeah, because what I'm thinking is that, because these are old batteries, right? I mean, they're, they're yeah. old batteries. They're like yeah. seven years old. Yeah, so um, what I'm thinking is that there's at least one or two cells in there that the when we demand a lot of current from it, the voltage sag is bringing the voltage down to the absolute minimum. Yeah, voltage sag because it actually comes right back up again. It does, yeah. But it dips below that 2.6. Yeah. So, so if we temporarily eliminate it out of the system as a so, test. Exactly. So what we're doing here is I'm just connecting to the BMS. So now it's telling me I can do 706 amps, which is much better than 64. That's right. So yeah, let's see what that does for me. All right. The plan is that we're, we're going to try and eliminate those two cells physically and reduce the overall capacity of the pack, but at least I'll eliminate the two weak cells. ones there because you don't want to make any changes to the battery with the a uh, battery cell tap harness plugged in right so i'm just paranoid so i unplugged them all and pa where's the power uh, power to it comes through this one here yeah. so yeah so we get that the, the entire beat this thing is completely dead now yeah. okay so the top battery is accessible this one and which 14 this one and this one these are the two we need to get get out this so this one's going to be a bit of a challenge I see that. Yeah, so I'll probably have to undo this wiring here to get that one out. some extra wire here so these are the two we're going to move to the front and then we'll put the two weak batteries back here but we're going to bypass them so I'm going to get rid of this and this and then we'll run this wire straight over to the positive over here and, it'll, and we'll basically bypass those two batteries I'm going to leave the batteries in there though um, because we, we yeah we want space, to yeah so they don't move around yeah we're going to have to figure out some way of covering them though because they're still going to charge you know so yeah the, the terminals yeah Relabeling so we don't screw up. Yeah, exactly. Very high tech stuff. Very high tech.
Well, success on the back battery pack. Filming me doing dodgy things with a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah, don't do this at home. <laughs> yeah. Just uh, plug so, the yeah. VMS back in, right? They're all, they're all plugged in, yep. Yeah. Where is it? There it is. Yeah. Got a good shot. Okay, plugged in. Yeah. that? Right, let's throw a chalk in. I got a new relay for the brake. Okay. But uh, I'm going to wiggle, make sure we've got brakes here before we go anywhere. I'm going to use, actually, you know what? I'm going to use the third gear to see how many amps. Chug, chug, chug. Okay, I want to see, make sure that that amp thing does 713? 713. So this is probably going to be... Oh, there's a block behind us I didn't take out. But oh, behind us. Behind us. Yeah. Well, she's taking off the third gear, okay. 660, 650, 660. Awesome. Alright. That was a good test right there. Yeah. Things are working really good, man. That is. Now, we're running on 30 cells, though, but the BMS is happy. It's not is shutting happy. down. 